Welcome to 100 Great Sheffield United Goals. Like all clubs, the Blades have had their highs and lows over the years, and during the period we concentrate on here, 1968-81, to 81, they certainly had their share of both. Either way, sit back and enjoy a vintage collection of Blades goal action, featuring some of the men who played their way into Bramall Lane's Hall of Fame. much room but they've been trying to work their way out of it you see the defenders closing in on them no chance but they've, they've got a foul out of it which gives them a better chance now they can float one into the middle I don't know why they did that I suppose Willie Carlin could have done this just as good as Woodward here but there it goes it's a good one oh it's a good no doubt about that one. A very nicely floated center. And a goal headed very well there by Colin Addison. Well now, Preston North End face another dicey moment. Oh, that's it! Ron Tudor got his first goal. John Shooter headed it in, no doubt about it. Almost his first touch of the ball, and he scored a goal. Oh, nice play there. Badger and uh, Shooter getting in each other's way. There's Woodward. A Sheffield United looking more, much more impressive. And there's a goal. The right half, Jimmy McNabb. That's, a, that's the best own goal I've seen for a long time. The goalkeeper had no chance with that. Jimmy McNabbs led with Sunderland. And if he did that, you can see why he's with Preston North End. They're not shackling him tight enough. There's another one. As we said, exactly the same situation. But the scorer, this time, likes that. Oh, sorry, it's Gil Reese. And a free kick to Sheffield United. Now the Sheffield fans will be expecting another goal quite soon. There hasn't really been any sign of it yet in the second half, but it might come here. Chance! Still got a chance. It's a goal, yes. We anticipated it rightly. John Tudor. Tudor, and there it is, there it is, John Tudor, very early in the game, and as we said at the beginning, the United fans would be expecting a goal from John Tudor, my goodness, they've got it very early, Reese. chance, Tudor again with the second one, John Tudor, two goals, There. Oh, he's got it. Curry's got it. That's another one. Very easy. And three goals for John Tudor. To Farrell. Going to lose that, yes. Wag, uh, Wagstaff. Woodward. That's it. Number four. Alan Woodward. No trouble at all. Thumping that home. There seems to be plenty of space there. One has a feeling of it that when you've had experience in the game, you begin to feel these things. Oh, there it is. And please the score. All fallen bodies are very. Foul hooking it away. 
John Craven trying to get that over. Chance for Sheffield United to break. There's Tony. Alan Woodward going with him. And it's a goal! A glorious goal by Alan Woodward. A magnificent goal by Woodward and Dave Hatton's wondering how he let that one through. Wanting to get on with it, there's Lem Badger. Flicked on by Addison, a chance there! And it's 3-2 with one minute to go. It's Tony Curry. And Keith Newton is to take it to make it. A save, a glorious save by Alan Hodgkinson. What a wonderful save and all the Sheffield United players swarming round Alan Hodgkinson. What a wonderful save by Alan Hodgkinson. An absolutely magnificent save. Away comes Sheffield United. Pretty but inconclusive, that Blackburn attack. Colin Addison, Alan Woodward scorching down and a chance for Woodward to make it three. It's there. Number three. And Blackburn Rovers are being routed. Salmon's looking for Kennelly, who's uh, behind him. Salmon's emerges and gives the ball to Woodward, who is not offside by any stretch of the imagination. He was never offside, and the referees overruled the alignment, and it's a chance for number four. And it's there. A good bit of refereeing that by this Wolverhampton referee. There was no doubt about it. Woodward was at least three yards onside. Cajon, Woodward. Up the middle goes Addison. And he's got it, he's through. It's a very narrow angle. And there's a goal, a beautiful goal. Let's pick up the score, it's Gil Reese, I think. Addison made it by putting it across and a beautiful low header by Gil Reese. Gil Reese again cropping up in the middle there as Colin Addison squared that ball across. That's a chase for Woodward and Brown. Brown's head. Sandy Brown getting his head there. Throw to Sheffield United. Barlow. Oh, a good cross. And a beautiful header. It's there! A superb goal! What a wonderful goal by Gil Reese. What a wonderful goal! Oh, Gil Reese has scored a picture goal. Gordon West never moved. Tony Curry, Woodward, and Woodward slips his man, he's going to get to it, Alan Woodward, Addison, it's there, it's there, Colin Addison has done it, a superb goal, Alan Woodward pinpointed that, and it's the head of Colin Addison which puts it there. Corner then to Sheffield United, and they've really got to get something back before half-time if they're going to stay in this game. Things not looking at all well for this Sheffield United side. Cahoon then, once again, on the goal line. Woodward with the in-swinger. There's one over. Madison. Banjo gets it. Finding the man more accurately now, Sheffield United. This is Curry. Woodward's free here. Addison! Cahoon! There it is! Eddie Cahoon! That's what he's meant to do all the time and he's done it. Cahoon. Badger, Curry, and Badger again. Woodward running, and he'll get there. Screwed back for Dearden. It's there. Dearden scores at long last. Sheffield United have broken this stranglehold. Jeff Salmons looks shaping up for what appears to be a long one. Cahoon moving up into the penalty area. Wilkinson and Curry. It's there! They all stood and watched. What an incredible goal. The whole city defence, including goalkeeper McKechnie, watched that ball from Tony Curry roll into the net. Woodward with the corner. Long 
wide across the face of the goal for Curry chipping it back in a goal and it looks like one again they'll wait till they sort it out but I think it's Alan Woodward again Sheffield United nearer perhaps to a goal scoring chance that they've been since the opening five minutes of the game Curry to take it Cahoon of course will be up there There's the cross, there's the header, what a goal! What a masterly goal that was! Beautifully placed, any moment now, it looks like Bill Dearden has scored it. <laughs> Pat Jennings taking the ball just out of the area. Curry chipping it over, Flynn was moving in, and it's a goal! direction there between Perryman and Mullery this is Salmons good chip Scullion he's got a wonderful goal what a superb goal but away comes Sheffield United they haven't got much time before half time if they're going to breach this defence a defence which has conceded nine goals in seven matches away from home Reese. Keeping control to Curry. Curry trying one. A goal! A masterly goal by Curry! And you'd have to go through a whole season to see a better goal than that. He's got Dearden in the penalty area to aim at if he wants to throw the long one. Coming for Dearden, but it's the combination of McCarthy and McGrath that gets there. Push back into the middle of miss kick. Woodward's there. That's it, number one. A bad mix up in the South African defence. Steele looking very disconsolate there. Martin left with no chance as Woodward was left with only Martin to beat. And just as it looked as if nothing was going to break the stalemate, Woodward makes it 1-0. Curry again, really getting the taste of blood, I think, now, Tony Curry. A good flick, he's onside, it's a goal, here's the scorer. In what has been a really splendid second half. Miss kick letting in Dearden again, Dearden going again, there's third. Right on the stroke of time, Dearden makes it three. Curry with the throw. Woodward lobbing it in. A header. Goal! A beautiful goal by Dearden. Curry chipping it down towards Dearden. Dearden knocked down the flag up. Penalty. 2-0, but he's off the underside of the bar. Hemsley pushing men up into the penalty area and now leaving it for Mackenzie Hemsley going to the left and it's Mackenzie who pushes it up and in for the goal is Dearden beautiful move beautiful well worked move from the free kick Dearden's out but the ball is where it matters it's in the back of the net this is Woodward a dangerous player to give half a chance to. Still with Alan Woodward. And a throw, not a corner. Frank Clark. Back now for Lynn Badger. And a good effort that, and it's there. Well scored by Bill Dearden. So Scullion, who early this season asked for a transfer from Sheffield United, in for Alan Woodward today. Woodward named the sub. Scullion to take the corner. Good deep one. Eddie flicked into the penalty area, hovering. Oh, that could be a down goal! It is indeed! The goalkeeper absolutely stranded off his line. 
Looks like Big Kufu may have put that in his own goal. Dugdale, Scullion, up the line to Curry, who's running well. Good break this. Curry trying to take it round his man. Good deep one for the head by Bode. A goal, yes it is. The finishing touch. Right through. Oh, good shot. It's a goal. Did and I think finished it. Did the man who finished it, but Tony Curry raising his arms in the air and following the shot. Who've already been making chances and must expect to make more with Graham Cross off. This is Salmons. That's the low one. Birchinall deciding not to leave it with Shilton behind him. And getting into a bit of trouble, that looked like handball, but the ball's going to be crossed, and it's Rolf again, a half yards to Curry. Curry trying to work the room for Shani's trip. Penalty! It's a penalty. As Curry was trying to work his way through the penalty area, it's Peter Shilton, England's goalkeeper, to face a penalty from Alan Woodward. Mr Morrissey not yet happy that everyone is... No, I think there may have been a word, a few words said. Woodward. 1-0. So a spell of fierce Sheffield United pressure. Most entertaining first half, but we're still waiting for a goal. Woodward with that long raking corner. What a good one! What a beauty! I think it's John Flynn. Now Woodward. Badger. Woodward. Curry moving up into the area. Woodward again. Good move. Oh, what a good goal! What a magnificent goal! The crowd in a ferment now, they're loving this, particularly since the home side's in front. This is Spade. Oh, it's two! Field! Field makes it two in a minute! Field. Tony Field going well, riding two tackles and a third! Good running! A great goal! A masterpiece of a goal! Superb stuff by Tony Field. What a corker. Up for Dearden. Yes, a goal. The, the bizarre events of this match continue. Chance for a quick break by Sheffield United now with Curry waiting for Woodward to run. There he goes, and he's onside. A goal. Woodward does it. Now everybody's on side, they all go surging back into the area. Woodward, a touch, a ah, goal! Theatre, Bradford, Field, Woodward, a shot, a goal, what a beauty! What a beauty by Alan Woodward! Dearden takes it to the left. Dearden running well, surely, yes, feel the finishing touch. Dearden made it. Eddie. Down towards field again. Is field onside? Surely, yes, that is a goal. That's two for field in two minutes. Faulkner, but still dangerous. This is Alan Woodward. To field. Awkward one for Spate, but he controlled it well. And that's a good ball forward too. 
and it's a chance for Curry. Yes. Appeals for handball as that ball went through. One word. Go. Field. He's ninth of the season. Woodward. Good corner and a great goal. Scored, I think, by Eddie. Woodward to his right. Coming for the short ball. This is Woodward. Out there for Badger. Davis. Got his hands to it, but it's gone in. Scored by Dearden. Two all. Good cross by Badger put Davis under pressure and he couldn't hold it and as it dropped Dearden got it in six minutes left field and it comes Curry 3-2 the last word with Tony Curry and the end of a season of endeavour for Everton. Curry. Cross coming for Woodward, and he's made it! Field a flick. Get out a goal! Out of nothing! Now Curry. Leicester prepared to play the offside trap, so Curry had to wait. He found Spate well. Spate field, a quick return ball. Dear don't miss it. Second chance for Bradford. A goal! David Bradford. Curry's corner. The back header, two headers, surely. Yes, Flynn. Wonderful goal. Eddie and Flynn worked to perfection. Field kept that in. And now Dearden has it. Wants men to run forward. Curry. Curry accelerates. What a goal! What a goal! Sheffield United wanting to get it up the other end. That's for Field, and he's round the back of Cross. And down. Penalty. It's awarded. Four. Keith Eddy salutes the crowd at the back of the goal. And it's one more stride towards Europe for Sheffield United. Eddie's header. That goal came in the 28th minute. Here's Woodward putting it up for Guthrie's header. And at last it's in the net. It was certainly over. And immediately within a minute, Guthrie has pulled one back. The goal famine of Bramall Lane is at last broken. Within a minute of Peter Barnes' goal, Guthrie, Chris Guthrie, gets his sixth goal of the season. Curry to take a free kick, so Stewart adjudged the offender. Curry's punched by, Mc, by McCrell. Penalty! A penalty! Now, what has Mr. Kirkpatrick awarded here? It looks... He's going out to linesman to consult. At first we thought it was a penalty. Yes, it is. Now, whatever that is for, presumably pushing in the box, the only thing we can presume is that either McRae, as he came out, or one of the Manchester City defenders was pushing as that free kick from Curry came over. But whatever it is, and Mr Kirkpatrick consulted his linesman, Keith Eddy, who scored from two penalties already this season, comes up for what could be Sheffield United's equalising goal. 
Yet, 2-2. Two, two. Well, which was caught out. Now can Dearden make something of this? Can Woodward? Yes, at last. 26 minutes into the second half, and Sheffield United, who squandered chance after chance, whose finishing has at times been appalling, have at last made a chance and taken it, and that is Alan Woodward's, believe it or not, first goal of the season. And he becomes only the fifth Sheffield United player to score a goal this season. Tom McAllister, this is really some goalkeeper. Career interrupted with a couple of broken legs. Field tipping that back, aim for Guthrie didn't come to him. The whack after the ball had gone uh, on Guthrie, producing the free kick. Tony Curry rolling it for Woodward. That's a good one. What a goal! Oh, unbelievable! That's fully 35, nearly 40 yards. Sheffield United are one nothing up. The lazy swing in action then was out of this world. James. A little bit too clever that time. Woodward. Woodward, he's on for a shot. And he's got a goal. That's his second. From just about the same sort of range. Johnston. Up towards Woodward. Penalty. Mr. KP had a good view of that incident and immediately blew as Woodward went down. Let's see as Johnston crosses. Down goes Woodward and Mr. KP thought it was a penalty. If Eddie lands this, it'll be his fourth penalty success of the season. Cross, here's Curry. There's the cross, which oh, a good one. Guthrie's up on that and heads it and tipped over by Cooper. A beautiful move. Guthrie's header. It was Curry who got another choice crossover, swerving away from the goalkeeper and into the head of Guthrie. A beautiful head and a superb save. So Sheffield United looking good now. Here's the in-swinging corner. There's a flick goal! Cahoon, what a beauty! Eddie Cahoon lips away. Well, well, Eddie Cahoon, lovely header, and then lips away from it. Here's the in-swinging corner, and it's a glorious flick of the head by Eddie Cahoon. In the 20th minute, his first goal of the season, what a valuable one. Really much appreciated rain. Woodward. A good cross. Guthrie coming in with the header. Chris Guthrie. And he scored. 50 seconds gone. The cross on the far side from Alan Woodward. Beautifully measured. And there was an awful lot of room for the big man, the big number nine, Chris Guthrie at the far post. And he scored with a fairly simple header. tries one and it's there Woodward past Bobby Moore first time with that lethal left foot and that can't have been more than about three inches under the bar and now they are giving Sheffield United one or two things to think about but Franks breaks on the right the early cross now header from Edwards 1-1 
attack. Franks had broken so well on the right. And his accurate cross, beating the defender, beating Hoadley, but not Edwards, who beats Jackson. On a Saturday where the crowd's traditionally a little bit down with the extra lure of Christmas shopping, but a fair sprinkling here at Bramall Lane in near perfect conditions, despite the wintry week. All credit to the groundsman here, Mr. David Robbins. If anything, perhaps the surface just a little bit hard. Just taking a step. Alan Warboys touching it off for Kenny Stevens. Now, Alan Woodward. Woodward going on, needing this one goal for the record. And there it is, and what a way to get it. Can he get there? Yes, he can! Well, Chris Guthrie has been the butt of the crowd. They've certainly, one or two behind the goal there, have had a go at him during this first half. Well, he's provided them with an answer. Started by Chico Hamilton. Garner, intelligent player, good cross that always had the defender in trouble. Taylor couldn't reach it, not a clean touch from Guthrie, but it was enough. This is Mel Blythe. Down he goes. And play on, says the referee, and Blythe out of position. And Edwards is onside, now a great chance for the equaliser. So, Keith Edwards we play the time added on for injuries at the end of this first half. Southampton will claim that Blythe was fouled. They might even claim that Edwards was offside, but he kept his head, side-footed it past Wells. So, 1-1. Hamilton trying to make a run to receive the throw. Here's Hamilton. Now Woodward. Curling that in, and in goes Guthrie! Chris Guthrie will have enjoyed that. No chance for Peter Wells. It all started from the throw, played back, and Woodward time to measure the cross, and there's no better crosser in the business than this man. But what a fine finish from Guthrie as he went powering in. And Franks. Cut push. He's looked as good as anybody for Sheffield United today, without any doubt at all. Franks playing a good ball here now. Played in first time once more. Cutbush nicking it on. Oh, off the post and in by Edwards. To be taken by John Cutbush. Up for Campbell. Edwards. Now Spate, and it was deflected by Wood. Well, Spate is being congratulated, but it took a vicious deflection off Ian Wood. Edwards worked hard to get the ball to Spate in the first place. There's the shot, there's the deflection, and poor Rod Arnold nowhere. Best looking for Mahoney. Cahoon. Campbell. This time getting away from Lacey. Hamilton arriving for the long cross if he can find him. And here's Hamilton. <laughs> Hamilton the scorer. And Bobby Campbell there getting the congratulations. And to be honest, it's no more than Sheffield United deserve. run from Campbell, it got away from Lacey, 
saw Hamilton coming in. And what about that for a header? And it's 1-1. And it's still with Hamilton. Looking for Campbell. Knocking it down for Woodward. And it's 2-1. finish for Alan Woodward and his 149th league goal but astutely knocked down by Campbell another left wing cross had set it up and past Payton so Sheffield United go in front with a goal from their captain and I suppose there's always an element of risk but so far it's working well enough for them Campbell Chico Hamilton, the chance to take on Hurd, oh and a beautiful finish, again, this time it's Hamilton, but given away to him, and Rovers will be kicking themselves, Hamilton presented with the ball with just one man to beat, that was Hurd, and on the left foot, giving Butcher no chance, Opening up for him on the left foot and the decisive finish. A splendid goal from Alan Woodward. Well, that's number 151. And coming on the counter-attack. Not his favourite foot, but under Butcher. It's Alan Woodward once again on the goal trail for Sheffield United. Dobson, Roberts was in, covering behind, Galvin, stopped by Calvert, taken up by Keith Edwards, in for Simon Stainrod, and a beautiful, accurate header, as Whelans came for the cross, put Sheffield United in front, well it was Edwards and Stainrod who were Sheffield United's first choice strikers, last season and now they combine a beautiful header from Stainrod his first goal of the season De Vries again cross pulled away and he's straight forward for Longhorn who takes it up again Edwards is on the side and Longhorn threaded it through to him Whelan's coming out but Edwards has ended that barren run Longhorn, the number 10 across there congratulating him and it should be congratulations the other way as well because it was Longhorn's pass very aware that Sheffield, that Hull were caught square Edwards was away Whelans came but Edwards keeping his head tucked it past him, it's 2-0 Perhaps a push first of all by Cahoon on Bannister but United get it away, now Kenworthy, Paul Woodward, Stainrod and Edwards only up with him, here's Stainrod, one to take on, oh, what a magnificent goal from Simon Stainrod, out of nothing to really pull the game back, when Hull looked as though they were getting to back into it, Alan Woodward setting it up with great vision, finding Stainrod on the right. De Vries was the defender who confronted him, and Stainrod was not at all abashed by the situation, and with the left foot drilled it past Jeff Whelans. Woodward, he might go himself, and he has done. Crude attempted a tackle by Gilbert. It's going to be a goal, yes, scored by Campbell. So, with two minutes left for play, Woodward, through his own initiative, has made a goal for Campbell. Played in by Hampson, and Edwards might well get there. And in the end, a simple enough 
task for Keith Edwards. In the fourth minute, Sheffield United get in front. Hansen's floating ball dropping behind Saxby and Edwards quickly seeing the opportunity. Arnold rather sold himself and in the end it was an open goal. Down for Woodward. Well, it's the first shot Alan Woodward's had. And it finishes off Mansfield in the very last minute. Hampson finding Stainrod. He may have taken the deflection on the way past Arnold. Woodward, the gesture of triumph. Fuchillo on a run. And beating Matthews. Back for Moss. Defending by Sheffield United, but not there. Well, they seem to have got it away easily enough, and suddenly it came back for Moss again. trying to launch the counter-attack. Stainrod, Anderson, yes! On the stroke of half-time, the man who comes back to English football against his former club, Peter Anderson, with time, kept his head onto the left foot. It was clearly deflected but it'll be Anderson's goal. Good ball, picks up Matthews, needs to go again. Calvert, shipping ball, and Anderson has equalised! Super goal, Peter Anderson, 1-1. Just over 21 minutes of the second half. Delighted Sheffield United fans, as well they might be, because United are good value for this 1-1 scoreline, particularly in the second half here. Here's Glavin. Now Parker. Trying too much of it, two Peters. Waiting for some support. And Houston who spotted it but Peters was in trouble here's Hatton Butlin's waiting in the middle and it goes in Barry Butlin has the arm raised and Sheffield United take the lead and it was a goal that was surely on the cards Houston laying it skillfully down the line was Hatton who got in behind the defence and Butlin and Phil Chambers might just have got a touch as well. Some of the passion of the derby game coming to the surface as Ian Porterfield passes on instructions again. And John Ryan with a belter. Well, Matthews touching it off and John Ryan in characteristic style marks his debut with a thunderous goal now Hatton he turn on this one still Bob Hatton and the old head makes it count a goal greeted with some relief by the crowd as Norman can only look disappointedly on for Hatton to just adjust himself here and wrong footing defenders and goalkeeper and Conroy asserting himself and using the ball well too here's Neville, it's two against two Bob Hatton up with Steve Neville Hooligan 
trying to get back. And it, might it come for Hatton? It does. And credit really to Steve Conroy at the other end of the field who started that by first of all claiming the ball with great authority, using it to set Neville on his way. The pass just taking a deflection, but it was enough to reach Hatton and he doesn't make any mistake with those. Ryan. Tibbet. Hatton against Bobby McNeil. Hooligan's uh, header going straight to Tibbet and deflection, and when you're down, that's how it goes against you. As Tibbet will take the credit for it. Hooligan's header wasn't the best. And the ball deflecting off Stuart Croft. Guided on by Robbins. Kenworthy there before Austin. It really isn't a day to play any football in your own third of the field. And Wigan was bought by Purdy and the referee letting him go. Hatton waiting in the middle. And Hatton... Sheffield United in front in the 11th minute. With the conditions playing their part and the defenders unable to cope with the pace of Wigan after Tony Moore had slung the ball forward. Two against one in Huddersfield's favour. But it broke for Wigan who cut it back low. Hatton kept his head and poked it in and it's 1-0 to Sheffield United. Ryan's corner and Wigan! All alone! Well, he certainly found space there. corner where was the Huddersfield town marking nowhere near Trent and Wigan who got over the ball well and planted in his header here's John Ryan who's got plenty of strength Garner's gone through the middle here's Gibbons touching it on for Hatton first chance coming to Bob Hatton took it. Three minutes gone. Gibbons playing his part with a delightful flick. Hatton sized up the situation and belted it over Johns just under the bar. Hatton beaten by Berry. And Warman's head up. Here's more again. Ryan. Looking for Gibbons, who looks for Hatton, and the old one too. Gibbons got past Naylor and beats Johns on his near post. 